Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube channel, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. Hmm. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Yes, I am talking to you about Bitcoin, blockchain, and life. But today, a short TA update from my beautiful balcony over here. Check the beautiful view of the sea. It's very calm today. Good for the pedal borders. Um, Quickly jumping in a cool TA video, enjoy it to the fullest, watch it to the fullest as well and to the end as well because there is a shitload of information and there are some amazing charts that you need to see at the moment if you want to understand what is happening to Bitcoin. Let's quickly jump into the band. first chart over here where is my face my face is in the wrong place as always i will put it over there guys here beautiful in the right corner and there is something else and uh, magic bam there is magic yes we have a beautiful setup now look how beautiful it is you can even see my qr code and not the wrong one but the real qr code that gives you access to bybit to a bonus if you sign up over there you get up to four thousand one hundred dollar bonus plus 30 percent fee discount and access to the free bit launch bed but now let's talk some charts guys over here 15 minute chart look how beautiful um, the bam bam indicator worked here we took the long and of course here you take the short and here you take the long and here you take the short if you calculate that that would be here like uh what is it like 1.6 percent profit without leverage and here we would have a nicer 2.7 without leverage if you take leverage of course it's better yes you can use the bam bam indicator on multiple uh, time frames so this is the 15 minute but you can also switch to four hour or whatever you want or any other asset on trading view go to the bitcoinfamily.com if you want access to these indicators now the one day channel this is a beautiful view we can see that uh, downward trend line the dotted one that is the line that we would uh, love to break at the moment are we breaking it no we are not breaking it because we're not even near it but we could move to that line in multiple ways i already thought we would live move like this and then be there in october but now because we dropped maybe we would move low slower to this again to there it would be in november or maybe we could even go sideways and then break it here and then we would break it at 22k at that level was 25k and that level would be 30k so there's multiple variations of going to that line and know what you're thinking i know what you're thinking you're thinking ah didi but there's also another uh, possibility and the possibility is didi that we break the 20k level and that we come all the way to the 16k level come back and then go even down to 12k level I don't see this happening, but in Bitcoin, everything is possible, of course. Yes, so also that would be possible, but not in my opinion. Now, let's zoom out. Let's look here at the weekly. At the weekly, we can see um, that we are still down below the 200 weekly moving average. Now, that is that red line. Do we want to be a, a down below that 200 weekly moving average? No, we don't want to be down below it, but we sadly are. Um, and that means we need to fight. We need to fight at 200 weekly moving average it's around 25k we are at the moment at 20k the 300 weekly moving average that purple line that one is now at 17,300. we already touched that once in the left circle and we can touch it again that will be a double bottom on the 300 weekly moving average um, does this matter i don't think it does matter because i have some amazing charts coming up that will show you exactly why it doesn't matter um, if we go sideways between the 300 and the 200 but give me some seconds and i will show you that very beautifully now if we look at the monthly we can see as well the 200 weekly moving average in the monthly chart every candle is a month and there is a very important moment coming up in 15 hours in 15 hours this candle is going to close and it would mean that then the monthly candle closes again lower than it had opened which means we have a red candle now have we ever seen in history that there is three um, candles down below the 200 weekly moving average no we haven't this is the first time that we have ever closed three candles down below that level and that's not very positive that means that the market model maybe is changing a little bit we don't know for sure but it could be changing now there is another chart that is coming up that shows you that september hasn't been the most positive month in history and um, let's quickly jump into that chart that chart is over uh, here it is, here you can see that um, in september 2017 um, over here 
we had a red month. That was during the bull run, even September in 2017 was red. Now here, of course, in the bear market, it was a red month. Here again, it was a red month. Here again in the bull market, September was a red month. Here again in the bull market, September. So September hasn't been the best month. So are we going to see another red month in September? Um, the other thing that you can see is that the August month has till now mostly been green. Green over there, we had a green month over here, so um, here's a red month, here was a green month, here was a green month, so now we have a red month. Does it mean that then September needs to be red as well, because two red candles in a row? We don't know, but the history shows that September has been a bearish month. Do we care? No, we don't care. Why not? Because we see on this chart something completely different, guys. This chart was created by Plan B, and on this chart we see two lines, the gray line and the black line. The gray line is the realized price, the black line is the 200 weekly moving average, and then we have the beautiful uh, dots from Plan B, and we can see that these dark blue dots are always representing the bottom. You see the bottom. Now we had two ones and a light one, but we are near that bottom. Now the difference now between this period, 2015, and here, is that the gray line was two times higher than the black line almost. And now the gray line is lower than the black line. In simple words, the weak hands have been selling their bitcoins. The weak hands are running out of bitcoins. The strong hands are taking over. The wills are buying the dip. We are buying the dip and the weak hands again left the market with loss because the gray line is the average price that people paid for a bitcoin at that moment and never sold it after that again so it's not the price now of bitcoin but it's the price that the people paid for bitcoin so if that one goes down below the 200 weekly then that's an indication that the weak hands have been selling very interesting chart um, so pause the video and watch it a little bit more and i will skip um, to the next one that is very interesting as well bam over here this one um this one it's kind of showing you what I want to share with you today. It is showing you that whatever happens to the market, whatever bearish time view we'll see, there will always be a bullish market again. There can be an economical crisis, but there will be a bullish period in our lives again. Now, this pinkish box from day 680 till day 1100, this is the market entry zone. Now, and if we look at the previous two halvings, halving one is the 2013 one, halving two the 2071, we can see the black dots, that is the new all-time highs has been creating during those blow-off tops. Um, but we can see that these days from 600 till 1100 have been the days to accumulate your Bitcoin. You should be accumulating your Bitcoin during these days because after that you will be going in a shitload of profit because the bull run will start somewhere. So at the moment we have 200 days left, it's almost a year to uh, stack sets. So whatever you are going to do the next 200 days, 7 months, keep buying Bitcoin. Yes, we can go below the realized price every time we do it, but we will go above it again and we will go above it again. And here again, we will go above it again. So keep buying the Bitcoins down below that realized price. It doesn't matter if we fall back with 30%. It doesn't matter if we fall back with, bam, 50%. It all does not matter. And why it doesn't matter is because we will see a run after this again, guys, of a few hundred percent. And that run after, that's the run that you should be focusing on, not on, um, uh, no, I need to have to buy this stuff, okay? <laughs> Not on um, how much we can dip. You keep buying dollar cost average into Bitcoin. Fiat is disappearing, in my opinion. You know, it's the or the buying power is disappearing, so you can buy less, 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 less for your euros and dollars. And Bitcoin, you can buy more, 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 more for your Bitcoins if you look at the average growth of the last 10 years. So that capital went times two every year, almost. So you can buy more and more and more. Your fiat and inflation is making you poor. Bitcoin could make you rich, but it's also giving you the freedom that you need to live wherever you want, travel wherever you want with your capital without needing asking to permission to bank or whatever. Can I please have my money now so I can travel to a next country because I don't want to be uh, wearing a face mask or whatever, guys. With Bitcoin, you don't need to ask permission. You just take your Bitcoins, you go to the next country and you spend them over there. It's a revolution. It's very important to understand. Yes, you can also multiply your capital by trading, and that's why we use Bybit or um, the indicators. Now, 
I hope you really enjoyed this short video, 10 minutes. I think um, if you enjoyed it, that you should give it a thumbs up, you share it with your friends and family, you subscribe to the channel, you hit the notification bell, and you leave a comment. What do you think about all of the charts and the information? Hopefully, maybe another live in Bam Bam Beach tomorrow, um, but then I will be enjoying this amazing view over there, guys. Yes, I love the sea. I know, no, it makes me calm and relaxed. Even I keep talking fast on the videos. Now, <sighs> Shut up. Thank you for watching, guys. I see you tomorrow again. Bam.